Good morning from Tucson. Today is the day I'm heading towards Dallas, Texas for an ugly sweater run. Last night while you guys were sleeping, I was working hard on these wheels. Made this thing even cooler. Let's take it back and see a big picture of everything now. I think it looks cool. What do you guys think? Comment below. Um, we have Classy Cassie. Good morning. World famous Classy Cassie. And we have the troublemaker Ashlyn over here. <laughs> I won't tell you guys why she's a troublemaker, but just take my word. <laughs> so, we have some curtain rods out here. And the two ladies are going to help me install. So, let's get to work. All right, we have the passenger side up. Look at how nice this is with the copper. Here's the midpoint, the little hardware, custom-made hardware. I'm running into a problem. I can't find the rest of the spacers. I have one, with the hole, and that's it. I'm not sure if Glenn has the rest of these things, but I'm stuck, I can't move forward. Problem solved. Um, I have a lot of them without uh, holes drilled in the middle. Uh, I do have a drill and I have drill bits and I'm just gonna hang on to them with this, drill with that, create new holes, install, life is good. Okay. After a brief intermission, we have the necessary pieces. Also Lauren's here, hey Lauren. Hi. <laughs> and Ashlyn's sliding the last piece on. I have the first bracket uh, little kit in my hand. And this one will be up very shortly. Cassie. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Ashlyn. And thanks, Lauren, for filming. Uh, we have the bus uh, in its final state. I don't think there will be any more modifications to the inside. This is what it looks like right now. Um, again, really love the copper. I like the fittings and um, it looks awesome. So it is ready to go. It looks homey in here. It looks cozy. I got some cushions, hipster blanket, blinds. I just think like this dead space maybe needs to be fixed and then, you know, but not anytime soon. I gotta hit the road. Uh, today I'll be heading to Dallas. Uh, have that um, ugly sweater run to uh, to participate in, and the ugly sweater is right here. How cool is that? And guess what, guys? It's LED. <laughs> so I'm gonna go say uh, goodbye to everyone, and um, I guess hit the road. And also, I got a Christmas card from Cassie and the family. So. That was really sweet. Thank you for the early Christmas card. Um, yeah, so let's go in, say my goodbyes, hit the road. Oh, first Polaroid of the new Fuji Polaroid camera, and it's slowly <laughs> starting to appear. The first one is me and me and Cassie right in front of the house with Dan the Adventure Bus with his new shoes on. <laughs> let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> awesome. So we got Lauren signing the bus. I don't know what she's writing on there, but something. And Ashlyn, did you sign the bus yet? No. Not yet? And Cassie signed the I bus. I did. I signed Cassie. for Wilson. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, cool. There's uh, Wilson's. And, wait, where's yours? There. We just wrote names. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Sassy Cassie right there. <laughs> but we'll record the real goodbye. <laughs> so good to see you. Yes. Thank you for everything. Oh, it's been so fun. Oh, I know yes. it has been. Yes. Bye, Bye. Ashlyn. <laughs> I'll see you. Christmas. Come, yeah, I might be back for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Lauren, always a pleasure. Yeah. Good to see you. It's good to see you. Take care of those little munchkins. I will. Thanks. Come back soon. Well, it's always bittersweet to leave family, and uh, it was an amazing time uh, for the past uh, man. It's actually kind of longer than I thought. Uh, Ten days or something like that. Got a lot accomplished for the first time. This thing looks like a home and less of a, uh, you know, I don't know, school bus. Um, got some nice pillows and blanket and curtains and curtain rods finally. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna head over to uh, the hardware store, return the paint that I didn't use, and then uh, fill up the gas because I'm on empty, and then it's time to go to Texas. <laughs> for a couple
couple hours and uh, I just pulled off the road and I saw one of my favorite kinds of food, drive through Mexican. And I don't think I can drive through, but it's something Bertos. They're all named something Bertos for the most part. And they, some are better than others, but they're pretty damn tasty. Los Bertos, great spot to eat. We're heading uh, east uh, between uh, Tucson and El Paso. So I think about an hour and a half east of Tucson. Great place, stop there, get the carne asada with pico and guacamole. It's just the kind of burrito I like. Well-balanced meal. Yo, how crazy is this? There's a guy bike riding on the freeway. What the heck? Where is he going? Entered the Central Standard Time Zone. It is 10 p.m. at my new time, my new time zone. Uh, I'm a little hungry. I missed the last exit with a Wendy's. I don't really eat Wendy's, but a baked potato sounded pretty nice. What the heck is that? Should I kill that? Okay. Might be a mosquito, I guess. I'm not sure where it went. Anyways, uh, I have some gluten-free bread of tsunamis. I'm not gluten-free. I like my gluten-free bread with extra gluten. And I have some uh, some baby food, which um, I'm running low on. I think I only have brown rice and black beans, which, by the way, is a complete protein. Good news, I won't be starving tonight. Well, I mean, I won't be literally, literally starving, but I might be hungry. Oh, no, sweet, found a pear and apple or brown rice one. All right, uh, I think I have a, I drove about 500 miles, I think, and tomorrow I have another 500 miles to get to Dallas, so I think the smart thing to do is just to rest. Does it look good back there? Looks awesome. I'm loving how this whole thing came out. Looks uh, very photographable. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I got another long day of driving, and uh, that's about it. So I'm tired, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Great news, guys. <clears throat> you know when you open the fridge and you like hope to find something in there? Well, today was my lucky day because I forgot last night I had Italian food. Bam! And I remembered to bring it back. I saw it when I put my coffee away right there. And uh, last night when we had a little family dinner. I have the hardest time grabbing this stuff. Last night when we had a family dinner, I took my spaghetti and meatballs home and there's cheesy bread. So, look at this. Whoa, -ho -ho, spaghetti and meatballs. That big lump on the right is a meatball. Take my word for it, it's tasty. And cheesy bread. It's super cold, but delicious. Getting ready for bed. I turned the red on for some reason. I think the green was too green and the blue was too blue and I wasn't feeling the blues. But I am pretty, feeling pretty radical.